and I am coming on here again to do another zodiac sign from my own art pieces. If you don't already know, I have been doing a kind of like from art to makeup type of series. I did this last year and um, if you want to check those out, I will list them down below. Also, um, I am starting up since I do a series every month or every year for my calendar. Um, unfortunately, my calendar needs to be bound and it's not quite finished yet, even though it's already March. I know, I think I'm just going to uh, finish it in time. It just takes a while to do so. But anyways, I wanted to do a Zodiac sign series for my paintings and I'm really proud of how they came out. I, I think this is my favorite collection so far. I do have more collections in the works. If you haven't checked out, I did start an Instagram page for my art. So I have all of these actually on my Instagram. I will link that down below as well. It is going to be called the Fairy Vibrant Realm for uh, my Instagram on my art. And it's just going to be strictly my art and, and upcoming projects that I'm doing for my art. A new series that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm in the sketching mode of that series so I will be uh, posting you on the progress of that series. So anyways, um, this is my zodiac sign series if you don't already know. If you can't tell by the little stamp right there, the one for this month is going to be Pisces. Now um, I did Pisces in the month of March because well my husband is of Pisces and he's born in March and um, I don't know I just I love Pisces and the 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 inspiration for the piece is always going to be kind of like, since it's a fish, I always have to make some kind of hybrid uh, human fish type thing. So that's what I did with. So this is my art piece. This is my original art piece for uh, Pisces. Now I did have her a different color of hair. I can't remember. I always do this with March. I always have her a different color hair or something, but I wanted her to be different than what I usually do. I usually do like blonde hair for March because when I think of March, it's always, you know, uh, springtime, very fresh colors, pastel colors. But this time I wanted to go, I had to go with the uh, stone that is assigned for Pisces, which is bloodstone, which is like a kind of a green stone with red in it. So I actually did not have any bloodstone jewelry or any kind of like red green jewelry. So I actually put a nail polish and then just dabbed red nail polish so it's kind of like an iridescent duochrome greenish olive greenish tone and then i put dabbed some red nail polish and just kind of mixed it in to make that bloodstone type look and then of course i did bead with red and green beads and i wanted her hair to be matching everything else so i did kind of like an ombre red hair so it's like a burgundy on the ends and the top where the roots are is going to be kind of like a bright red so i really liked the way it came out and as for her makeup, I like the double wing. So that's what I did here. I did a double wing because it reminded me of fish. So, so the double wing is actually two colors. I did do a citron type of uh, color or like a lime between a lime green and a citron because it's I didn't want it too green. I wanted it kind of like this lighter green. So I did that and I kind of switched them on the bottom. You'll see when I do my tutorial, but anyways. I'm just trying to explain my piece to you. And then also the lips are ombre. I kind of wanted to keep that ombre effect, the two-tone colors, because I have that reoccurring theme in this Pisces painting. And I do have her little tattoo of her symbol on her uh, shoulder there. So I did put that on my shoulder. And then, of course, the constellation is in bead beads right here. I don't know if you could see it. It's very hard to see because it's a big constellation. So I wanted it to fit on here so some of it's not showing. It's kind of behind her head. And then... Um, Whoops, I'm dropping stuff here. But um, yeah, I like the way it came out. This is my Pisces piece. This is my original work. You know, I work really hard on this. And if you haven't seen my Sagittarius uh, progression art piece where I actually show you how I paint it, and um, I will link that down below as well. So um, yeah, so that's my Pisces painting. And I, that, I did that with my makeup. I wanted to make sure I try to mimic exactly what I was doing in the painting so you can wear it for wearable makeup. So you don't have to put the tattoo, but this is a part of my series, so that's why I did that. 
And I do have the other two linked down below, which is Aquarius for February and Capricorn for January. Stay tuned for next month. Next month is going to be Aries, which is actually my son's uh, zodiac sign. So I will be doing Aries in the month of April. And of course, May will be Taurus and so on and so on and so on until I get to Sagittarius. So I hope you guys enjoy this series of mine. It is, I, this is probably my favorite part of my series is actually mimicking the makeup I created in my very own art onto my face so that people can kind of like have some fun with some makeup and just it's part of me you know my art is very important to me so anyways please follow me on my Instagram page the fairy vibrant realm and also fairy vibrant makeup if you want to see my posts or what's coming up or any kind of new things that I'm coming up with um as far as this channel goes, I will link that Instagram page also down below. If you want me to start a website on my art, I will work on doing that as well. I don't have a whole lot of time and I want to dedicate a lot of time to it. So anyways, if you want to see how I did this look from my very own art, which is Pisces, continuing my Zodiac series, then just keep watching. So let's start off with some primer from Urban Decay, the primer potion. Then I'm going to set down my primer with my usual rock candy shade from the Sugar Pop palette by Too Faced. Then I'm going to pick up this from the chocolate bar from Too Faced. This is the shade Salted Caramel, and I'm putting that in the crease with my Avon blending brush. That way I can have some definition to my crease area. Then I'll take white chocolate from the Too Faced chocolate bar and I'm going to put that onto the lid and the brow bone as well. our base is down let's go on with our eyeliner and I'm using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lips Lipstick in Vampyra as my burgundy red shade for the liner so I'm going to start off my wing by winging it out on the outer corner drawing a diagonal line and then carrying it back towards the eye make sure that you have a good wing for this that way it stands out a little bit more and it kind of mimics the lower wing that we're going to do later on Alright, so I should have done this, but I did it anyways. I just wanted to map out where I wanted the red. You're going to put red on the inner corner of the lower lash line towards the middle and use that liquid lipstick as well. And then use the NYX eyeshadow base. I put a little too much on there. Go light handed with this, guys. It's it's very messy. Or you can use a NYX, NYX jumbo pencil in milk. That would probably work a little bit better. So put that on the inner corner of the top lash line and towards the middle. Then take Kat Von D's Metal Crush Shadows in Electric Warrior and pack that on top. And I did kind of flick it out on the inner corner as well because I wanted it to be really fantasy looking so that's what I did there. Another layer of the Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick in Vampire on top so to darken the shade. And then of course packing on a little bit more of Electric Warrior. Then taking my shades again, I already did the rest of my makeup, my under eyes and whatnot, and I redid the lower lash line starting with the red, inner corner to about the middle, using Vampire of course. And then taking my NYX uh, eyeshadow base in white and putting that on again, I suggest the NYX pencil, it's much easier to work with. This is way thick, so that would be easier. I just wanted a base, so I'm just winging out uh, the bottom as well. Then packing on Electric Warrior from Kat Von D's Middle Crush Shadows. That way it has that perfect citron green shade to mimic the bloodstone. I didn't want it too dark. I wanted it really, really light because I liked the way the burgundy and the green look together. So I'm just packing that on top of my eyeshadow base. Then taking my Lord & Berry uh, eyeliner, I'm going to tight line and apply it to my waterline as per usual. 
And then of course go back through and fix all those little areas, make sure they're nice and blended and faded. Taking my NARS Audacious Mascara, putting on some mascara, using some lashes, these are S47 in the Select Lash brand. And they're not my favorite lashes, um, I should have cut them down a little bit because I think they were a little too big for my eyes. I'm still a rookie at this, bear with me. I think practice makes perfect, so I will definitely practice some more. And then I'm applying more mascara on top of that. Now for the rest of the look, I'm taking two shades from Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I'm taking Vampira, and then I'm going to put Underage Red in the middle. We're going to create an ombre lip, so Vampira on the outer corners of the lips, top and bottom. And then we'll put Underage Red on the middle, creating an ombre lip with the lightest shade in the middle. Just make sure that you do blend these together. You can stamp your lips together, kind of make, make it smooth transition, you know, a nice from dark to light transition. to make more of a dramatic effect. When it's our turn, together we stay now on to the sign. I'm going to do this with my shoulder. It's, that's where I have it. So I'm taking the Essence uh, liner. It's not my favorite liner, so I just used it for the tattoo because it actually did get it just right. So draw your little curves and then draw the curve in the middle, kind of like an ups like a frown face, I guess, like two crescent moons and then kind of like a frowny face. That's pretty much how you do it. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more in my series for my zodiac signs for my art and make sure you click the ones down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.